Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today I'd like to go on carry on with crossbreeding and a few more pieces of information about automation of the Alvarez, which I hope to keep pronouncing as Alvary and not a Peru or Avery or some other strange word. Anyway, for now let's trundle off to the to the bees and we shall start here. What I've discovered is that the two different types of bees have different types of um, crossbreeding properties. So let's go to the database here. And here we have our bees. So for example, if I want to produce an industrious bee, and I've already got industrious drones, what you can look at is the resulting mutations. So it says, a diligent princess with an unwary drone will give me an industrious. But that also means that any other B plus an industrious drone should result in an industrious princess. So let's put that to test and see what we have. Also, there are a few other ones. The other, I actually wanted to start with Valiance, didn't I? Because I, when I was doing this, I discovered all sorts of bees like red bees, white bees, yellow bees, blue bees, etc. And what I want to do is this the Valiant one. This seems to have quite a lot of resulting mutations, further mutations. And as you can see, there's quite a few here that have not discovered. CPI seem to have discovered with a marshy. And here I've got, it can produce an ebony with a rocky. And there's a few here that I haven't yet discovered. So the first one I'm going to try is to try a Valiant with a winter princess. And see what we get. So there's nothing in here at the moment, except I do need some frames. Some soft frames would be good. I don't think there's any in there either. No. I've got plenty of soft sounds. Let's make some quickly. I think I've got some sticks in here. Yes, I have 42. Plus two, that's 44, that's plenty. So we just make a few. I've also got four in here, that's 48. That'll give me six frames, I think. My arithmetic still functions. Sometimes I think it doesn't. And I only need three, so we'll put these into here. Move these out of the way. And we've got the soul sand here. So one of those. So that's what I've got in here. And here I don't have any automation, so that uh, it gives you a chance to sort of revise what I, you were doing. So I said that any B plus that, and I wanted to start with a wintry princess and a valiant drone here. Let's see what we get. I've also got a wintry princess and industrious, which we could actually put in here. We'll take these out. And we'll put industrious and we should actually let's stop a second let me think about that a bit more i want to do that elsewhere no here's okay because it's a wintry okay so this is now slowly dying actually quite quickly dying off as it happens and this one is also ah pristine pristine stock. This is pristine stock, which is great. This one is also ignoble. Now the difference between the ignobles and the pristine is the pristine will carry on forever and the ignoble will die off after a period of time. And what we can do is we can, there is a way to work around that, but that's for later on. And here we have our other two alvarez. Here I've got a forest princess and a cultivated drone. Now if I have a look at these bees here, I was trying to produce a cultivated drone from these forests, weren't I? wasn't I? So we need to analyse that. In fact, I seem to have the tree analyzer there. Let me just get that out of the way. Where have I put it? 
it doesn't seem to be there. It's a tree analyzer. Where's my bee analyzer gone? So look in the so look at the golden bag of holding. Oh yes, it's there. Right. So what we had was this forest princess of pristine stock. So right, number five and right click and we should see we have eleven honeys, that should be sufficient for now. So this is a forest cultivated. This is a valiant drone, this is pure valiant, and I think the other ones that are from here were that's valiant. This one is also a forest cultivated, and this one here is a cultivated forest. Now with this particular alvary, we have the stabilizer here, and the stabilizer basically is prevents the, the bee from producing a new type of bee. So in this case, we wanted to make sure this queen, or this princess, wherever she's gone to, I think it's this one here, the forest cultivated, we wanted to convert that to a cultivated. So the only outputs from here can be cultivated or forest. So I'll let that get on with its job. And in here, I have some more automation. A little switch to power that on and off. But in here, we have no bees at the moment. But we can put the... Actually, we won't put the Imperial Queen in there. We'll put in this un unwary princess here, which is a cross between that and a diligent, and an unwary drone here. Now, th this one's actually got a short life, but it's also got more temperature resistance up, down, one, down. And this was just plain normal. But also has the advantage of being day and night and can fly in the rain. So that's a pretty good princess. But it's a noble stop, so it will mean it will die off after a while. Now the other ones that I want to do is here. So here I have a Meadows princess, and I have a forest drone and some valiant drones. And what I wanted to do is to breed the Meadow Princess with the Imperial. Actually, I wanted the Industrious Drones. Did I not pick those up? I better go back and get those. Unless I've got them over here somewhere. Nope, no Industrious Drones there. They're quite bright and colourful. You can see those pretty easily. So back to the cold bees, wherever it's gone to. It should be over here. I don't actually want the Imperial, I want the Industrious Bees. Here we are. So this is almost no difference. Back again. And if my theory is correct, I should end up with a crossbred of a, a Meadows and a Industrious, and then the second time around we should end up with just maybe a pure Industrious. Now that wouldn't, that may happen, but it's with the stabilizer. And then this one here, I've got a Watery Princess, and I wanted to mix that with a Valiant Drone crossbreed that with a Valiant drone because that's one of the ones I haven't yet checked out in the Valiant area and we shall see what happens with that but it takes time you have to have patience with bees uh, actually quite a lot of patience but in the meantime let's just talk about these this was a stabilizer I've mentioned before in the last video I said you need Maybe the, this unit, the Alvary lighting, needed power. It doesn't. It works by itself. And in here we've got this sieve, and I didn't know what it does. But what the sieve does is it catches pollen. So if you look at these trees here, they've got funny coloured leaves. Now the reason that is, is because I've got the naturalist eye and more, what do I call it, extension. 
to the dark helmet. So for the dark armor helmet. So if I remove this helmet here, these these trees won't appear grey anymore. They'll just appear sort of normal. But you can actually see these have changed. Now you're looking at it. You can see that this has actually changed and here's some more. So you put that back on again. And you see it's very much more visible. And this means that these trees have been pollinated. Which is quite interesting. Now, the next thing I did here with automation is I changed the, the servo to being a reinforced servo. And the advantage for this is you can then trick it as a round robin and set it to one. So when I put the end up, end up eyes or end up poles or eyes of ender in, they'll go round to each of the ones which are filtered. Now here I've got a filter that says blacklisting eye of ender. And here we have some filters, same. And around the other side, I've got filters with it in. Oops, again. This is a whitelisted eye vendor. And in here, all this is is simply a servo. So when we look at the uh, the alvary, you see that here we have the queen, and it basically anything from here, any bees from here, will be taken out. Now we also need to remove the, the stringy comb and stuff like that and all I need to do to do that is to put on it a chest or something beside here and it'll come in. Now the next unit that's interesting is this one the alvary transmission and also the electrical stimulator. I'm not going to cover the electrical stimulator at the moment because that's quite a, a more involved component what it actually can do is you can add tubes to this thing here you have a circuit board and you put tubes on it and they act like the mutators or um, the frames so you can do it using power so you've got here is 100,000 no, 10,000 RF 100% charge and this will then do and you can do all sorts of things with this so that basically these units here can be programmed and replacing the other units and the transmission unit will up is one place or any else. It's a bit like the transmission on the farm, I think, where you put all the power into this one, and it will then feed all of the the blocks that need power in the alvary. And at the moment, I'm just using one redstone. Well, I'm not using any power, so this will be full. It's a redstone energy cell with a, a redstone solar panel, and the rest of it just works. So it's coming towards night time now and we should see these bees still flying but this one is tolerant anyway so that will be doing it and this one over here this one is not so this wouldn't normally be working but because it's uh, we've got the lighting in here it will carry on working we've also got the rain shield so it'll carry on working if as you can see the bees are flying out Oops, wrong button. So let's go and have a look because if anything has mutated yet. Nope, still got plenty of time. Let's go back to the, the cold or winter bees. See if anything's happened over here because that was happening quite quickly. Nearly finished. That's got a way to go. So what I'm going to do in the next few episodes is to carry on with this, do the simulators and things like this. And also, you may be wondering why I've got such a huge construct here of piping. The re these all bees here will be all crossbed bees. And what I'm going to do is to start doing genetics. And for that, you need DNA. And you get the DNA from the bees. Now, the crossbred bees are of less use than a normal purebred bee because you can't do much with it. Except for the, the princesses, you can then convert the princesses to being purebred. So here we have some, there's an indus, unwary industrious hybrid. I could then convert this to being an industrious bee by using the industrious drone. And this is ignoble stock, it's got 40 generations in captivity. 
Another thing I would like to look at is this mod here. As you can see, this is Industrial Apri. Now this mod is by Gendustry, I think is how it's pronounced. Let's double check it. Right, Gendustry. So we have a lot of gene samples in here. All of these here are gene samples. And of course you've got some mutagen, some liquid DNA and some protein. And you've got genetic waste and genetic labware and then you carry on down through here and we have a whole series of things genetic template and here we have a planes emulation upgrade a light upgrade a firing upgrade a winter emulation upgrade a dryer upgrade and so on and so forth there's lots of different upgrades in here and what you can do is you can put those oops I've really lost it put those into this industrial AP you can have four slots and here I've got a light automation the automation basically is quite cool it just lets the bees go back into the appropriate slots once they don't need any pipes for it and here we've got a genetic stabilizer the genetic stabilizer is because this growing queen is a noble stock prevents it from dying so it will carry on producing bees so it ends up being equivalent to pristine stock down the bottom here I've got something else, I've got diligent drones and diligent this time it's a pristine princess, so I don't really need the diligent in there it'd be better to take a, an ignoble princess and put it into here now it's complaining we've got no queen but I think these are sort of less useful for mutating but I do have a chest here and it, you can have automation one of them is this one a lifespan upgrade and this reduces the lifespan by 33 percent therefore it makes the mutation possibilities go faster a bit like the soul frames in the other mod and here we've got i've got a mutagen producer and a mut advanced mutron but there was something else i was curious about it was the apris pipe and in the wiki, there is an advanced Apris pipe. I don't think it's in this particular mod. It doesn't look like we just got the straight Apris pipe. A mana Apri booster. I'll have to investigate that. Advances chess, Apris DNA sequence, and a magic Apri. Oh, no idea what that one is. It's obviously something you can't make. Oh, you can make it. Unusual pollen and enchanting drop will produce a magic apiary. Okay. Because the one problem with these pipes is they don't always take, as things go past, they won't always go in. They sometimes go just a bit random. They don't, nothing else will go in just the one you want but it doesn't always go in that's why we have these and here I change this a bit as well I put in here um, well basically at the moment I've got cones and I've got actually got trees as well you can actually push trees through here and it will go through the analyzer and out and I'll redesign this so that it doesn't come back into the analyzer because that can actually cause problems and here we have another chest just full of drones so almost half it's almost completely full of drones this chest lots of valiant and water drones anyway enough of that whether it twittering on let's go and have a look at what got here still not died this one neither go back over here maybe we got some progress over here no, a long way to go for that one, and the and this one. And there's nothing in there anyway, so that's good. Ah, and here we have the Industrious Princess Ignoble stock. So let's go and analyse her. And it's a purebred Industrious Princess. 
So, and these unwary drones are now mixed, hybrids, unwary, industrious. So with this purebred industrious princess, I can now go and take those drones. Oh, I don't have a whole suite in there. Do I have to put some in here? No. I thought I had more. Oh, okay, I can take some of these here. And we can go back to the other, to the other um, apiary, the industrial apiary over here, <laughs> and put those into here, and they will start to work. So that's the industrious princess, and here's the industrious drones. And that will produce the industrious queen, and we just leave that, and it will just produce a lot of pollen clusters. It's actually a slower worker. And these are normal lives, oh, so it's fairly similar. And you see already it's got some comb coming out of here. The comb comes into this chest, and I've got quite a few different types. I've got some red tinted honey and red red coloured so this was from uh, I see different types of bees different mods so let's go one more time around here oh here we go so this time I've got a bleached drone and a bleached princess and that was from the wintry and the uh, valiant let's have a look Maybe I need some honey actually, we'll do soon. So we have the bleached princess, it's a bleached valiant. And here's a, a bleached wintry. Now, has it got anything special about this? Yes, it can survive oh, in normal climates, good. So I can take these two here and put those in the Alvary with the stabilizer in, and we won't get anything except for bleached, valiant, or wintry. But the next thing to do is to take another wintry princess from here, if I have one in stock, so to speak. So if I don't, I just have to get one out of the hives. Think there are any in here at all? Plenty of watery drones and valiant drones, wintry drones, but no princesses. Okay, so let's just go around to this chest over here because we should find some wintry hives. Just take two of those, and we'll also put the bees into here so. These are, we, we know those, those are also, and then we can let those go through. I want that one. I don't really want those two. Imperial Queen, actually I can let that one go through as well. Forest Cultivated, don't want that one. Valiant, I do want that one. One of those is here. And the Unwary Drone, I don't want. And the Cultivated Forest, I don't want. Right, let's put those two. Oops, I should have put the hives in here, shouldn't I? So we repeat this process because we're going to get another bleached pair. Ah, I know what happened to those, they disappeared into my apris backpack. Depending on how you pick them up, they will go in there or not. In fact, pristine ignoble 
ignoble. So we'll maybe we try a, pr a pristine with a valiant. And while we're doing that, let's analyse that other beat. Unknown. So it's a valiant wintry, valiant wintry, valiant wintry, and a pure valiant. I think we'd already checked that one, so we'll put the second pure valiant in here. We'll take those and we'll throw those back in here. Now, what we don't know is very much about the bleached bees, do we? I didn't do the... So we don't know what they've got special about them. So let's have a look again. So they've got good tolerance for both humidity and climate. They can have their special pot, a white tinted comb. So another one that produces white comb, obviously. And here it's its mutations. But the mutations are easier to read in the in the APRIS database. Let's look at that then. Because we didn't have that B before, so it should now appear in here, bleached. So resulting mutations. So it's a wintry plus a valiant gives me a bleached. And further mutations are basically we don't know any except for we've got two discovered species plus the bleached princess will give us something or other that we don't know. So maybe we can play that little game on the this little table here. This fritoire, I think it's pronounced, no idea. So we put the princess in here and then you get this pattern. And with this pattern, if you're lucky, you can match up the bees. And if you get them right, which I didn't, in fact, you don't have much chance really, just go round like this. If you're lucky you'll get uh, the right pattern. There's not very many combinations. There we go. And what I've got now is I've got some, as a result, I've got some combs. And I should also have a paper. Vindictive drone, a Summerland drone. Sometimes you get a paper in here as well. I don't think it is. Nope. And you can play this game as much as you want. And you maybe just get other rewards. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. It's just a question of luck. Let's do that one. Here we go. How about that for luck? This time I do a note. A buddy buddy's note. And I got some more cone. So let's have a look at this note. So you've now discovered Prussian and bleached. Chance of success is low and new speech is azura. And now, because I've done that, I should be able to look in my Opus database and see those two new bees. What is it called again? Let's look at the bleached one. No, it doesn't tell me, does it? Okay, never mind. But you have the note, and it does actually tell you on the note how you can do it. So, if we go back again and look at the note. Prussian and bleached. So we have to find a Prussian B. In fact, you can use any I for that as well. But I actually haven't been using any I for this very much. That's what he looks like, huh? A Prussian queen. And you can do it by the Mutradon. Mutratron. With genetics labware. And it's got a 100% chance of discovering the Prussian queen. So Valiant and a water. In fact, I think we have the Valiant and the water being done over here, don't we? So we should have, by now, discovered what have we got here? Meadows with industrious didn't work that time. A valiant, a water, and a valiant. 
this also didn't work but let's just have a quick look at these two with a better look oh, I need some more honey okay oops I was going to pop into that chest have I got any honey in here no that means I've got to go back to the squeeze for to get some honey I brought some with me in the first place, should I? In fact, the honey's in here. Plenty of it. In fact, you can use honeydew as well. Which one was I looking at? This unknown genome? Valiant. And water. Oh, she didn't give me very much to do. She's either a valiant or a water. Let's try those two again and hope this time we get something better. And that was the industrious drone which we crossbred with this meadows princess and it turned out to more meadows. But this pr meadow princess, we'll try again. We won't even bother to do it because it'd probably be a crossbreed. And in here we shall put the which one did I want to put in here? Oh, it's the one in the bag, isn't it? Valiant wintery with that was valiant water, wasn't it? Yes. And the one in the bag. A watery princess. Is that did I not analyze that? Watery Valiant. Okay, let's put her into here and we shall let that go through. Obviously, I'm not going to wait now because the episode goes on. It's just it's quite a slow process to be breeding, but it's actually quite good fun too. So now we've got some cultivated and we're trying to produce purebred cultivators. Let's see if that works this time. Cultivated Princess. Well, yes, now I've got a purebred cultivated princess and it's got some quite good properties it's got fast production which would be normal the pollination is slowest but we don't really care about pollination that's for something else and the flowering types is snow so it works during the day it's got no special temperature benefits at all so now we have our pure cultivated princess and then we can use that Check what we got here. That's a cultivated forest, not much use. Another cultivated drone. This is a cultivated forest again. And here we've got some cultivated drones. So, of course, then we can start to produce more cultivated drones by simply putting these things into one of these apiaries. I think at the moment I haven't got any spare. I think I used the last one up. Maybe we should put some signs up here. Huh? Okay, I think that's it. Until next time, when I hope to do a little bit more with the electrical simulators in here, and investigate those I haven't done so far, just that's the only bit. And I did actually produce some bits in preparation for that, and they are not here. They are on the other side. Nothing here with a whole load of tubes and circuit boards ready to do some soldering and hopefully when we do that if you look here at the electrical simulator you can see the properties of what they can do until next time bye for now <laughs>